Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to create something with native PHP. Actually, we're going to create the to-do list in from the previous video. If you didn't see that one where we created the to-do list in Livewire 3, I will link that up somewhere on the top here. Um, we will transform that to a native desktop application application using native PHP. So let's dive into it. All right, so this is the small uh, Livewire 3 app that we created in the last video. We can add tasks to it. We can mark them as done and we can delete them as well. Um, we're now going to transform this into a native desktop application. We're going to do this with native PHP, which is created uh, over at Beyond Code. Uh, so let's get started. So to install, we just need to compose a require native PHP Electron, yeah, it's used. It's using Electron under the hood. So I already uh, navigated in my CLI to the project. So Composure require native PHP Electron, and this is going to, yeah, install um, the needed dependencies to do so. All right. After that, we're going to PHP Artisan native install. This can take a while, and yes, I want npm dependencies as well. And I'm going to fast forward this video here. All right, so this actually installed. So would you like to start the native PHP development server? Yes, I would. All right, so this is actually starting up um, the native PHP server in Electron. And there we go. And we have an error, MySQL state, no such table to do's which is actually normal because um, the database is skipping the migration while in development. And native PHP is creating its own database um, file. And it's also using SQLite, just like we did in the project uh, before in the previous video. So when we head over to the database folder, we can see we now have native PHP SQLite. And the error also indicates if you want to migrate this manually, PHP artisan migrate, uh, native migrate. So, well, yeah, let's stop the server here and let's run that. And that actually migrates everything into this native PHP SQLite. Yes, I want to open it. Um, there we go. And this is actually the same thing as we had before in our database SQLite, we now have native PHP SQLite. All right, let's PHP artisan native, native uh, serve like that. Whoops, and what did I do wrong? Native, all right, it's one T, native. And it's actually the same thing as before, it's starting up the native um, application. This takes a while, there we go. All right, so now we have a native application, which is actually in here, Laravel native application about beyond code. And this is something that we're going to have a look at later on. All right, so test, test two, and I can easily mark them and delete them as well. Great, so now our application completely built in Livewire 3 is running in a native desktop application with native PHP. How cool is that? Well, we're going to add a few things more here. I want this to be in a menu bar, right? So we're going to create a standalone menu bar. Uh, so use native Laravel facade menu bar is something that we're going to add to our native app service provider. So when we head over to the code um, in app uh, providers, we now have this new file native app service provider. And in here, I can just add native Laravel facade menu bar. And this is actually something that you have seen before, right? So menu, the app menu, sub menu about, sub menu view. And this is the same thing that we're seeing here. So I'm just going to add something here, link like this. refresh and it's also having a watcher installed so it's refreshing the complete um, application and now I have my own link in here as well how cool is that 
right? But I'm going to get rid of all this. There we go. And in here, I want, just as in the documentation, menu bar create. There's only one line of code. There we go, whoops. Refresh that, and there we go. The application has rebooted. We don't see it in a uh, native app uh, view window, but we now have it up here with the, Laura, with the native PHP icon, and I can do test in here, test two, and I can mark one as done, click away, open again, delete, and I can also stop the server, restart the server, so open and closing, uh, closing and opening the application, the desktop application, and in here I still have my test two because it's in the SQLite bundled in the application. How cool is that, right? So um, I don't know what the future brings for us here, but I'm sure we're going to have a wild ride on this one. This is going to change the development and how we work with our applications for a huge, huge amount. Um, I have several ideas for this already and I just yeah know about it like a week or two. Um, and yeah, Marcel, thank you for creating this and like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below, hit me up on Twitter. Um, and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.